All right, welcome back. Hall Amen's putting a new practice into CPR, a new approach because it could make a difference in saving a life. Dr. Ron Ostrom in, this, this, in with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in this morning. We'll let you guys go ahead and start, and then maybe you can explain, Doc, what they're going to be doing. There's a sensor there under his hands, and this is your typical heart rate monitor. What's different about CPR that you guys are going to be doing now? This new technology we're introducing here at Hall Ambulance is going to be available to our paramedics on the rigs. What it, the difference that it makes is that it's a real-time audiovisual feedback uh, technology that with this sensor, it, it, it is able to inform the paramedic of both his depth of compression. Everett's depth is right now about two inches. That's really the compression that you want. It's and significant. Absolutely. I mean, it really does. It feels like you're going all the way to the spinal cord, which studies have shown that medics in the past have not had compressions of the depth that's required and recommended by the American Heart Association. The other thing that it reminds them of is the rate. They mm -hmm. found that the rate of frequently of the med uh, medics is too fast. It allows them to slow the rate down and gives them positive feedback through the monitor, which visually will stimulate and cue them to either increase their rate, decrease their rate, and increase or decrease the rate of compression. So if they're going too fast, the heart doesn't have a chance to it fill. It doesn't the fill, blood. and it doesn't perfuse the organs. It leads to a, a decrease in oxygen to mm -hmm. vital tissue and uh, subsequent tissue death yep. and a poor outcome for the patient. So this thing is actually basically telling, it's giving them a report card, which this thing is recording the entire time. Later on, you can go back and say, his CPR was good, it wasn't bad, you can correct it. Absolutely. It provides us metrics and it allows us to measure and quantify the medic's quality of CPR. And you were well, suggesting that before, I mean, before this technology existed, Maybe we weren't doing CPR right. We, we probably weren't. We probably were doing a poor quality CPR. This is a, is a, a significant improvement in the quality CPR, mm -hmm. um, which is a, it's actually increased uh, survivability of a cardiac arrest threefold. So I'm, I'm not talking about you guys here. I'm, I'm not saying you guys aren't doing it right, but overall, <laughs> nationwide, 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 you know, that so. maybe we, it's because it wasn't being monitored like this. The other yeah. thing that's, that's new about this, too, is it can compensate. Normally, if you watch enough ER and those TV shows, you hear them say, all right, everybody stand back, clear, right, right. let me check the rhythm. This sure. thing will change check the rhythm and continue, so you don't have to stop doing CPR. That's what's great about this technology. It filters out the feedback. This used to look like just a lot of feedback on the monitor. The, the medic would have to interrupt CPR. That would re result in a decrease in perfusion pressure while they checked the pulse and looked at the rhythm strip of the monitor. Now, this new technology filters all, all that feedback, and they're able to see the underlying rhythm while they're doing CPR, so they don't have unnecessary pauses or stops in the CPR. Right. They can they can look at it right there and say, hey, look, the rhythm's changed. It's amazing. Now I mean, this is, looks like a normal, what you would normally yeah. see a rhythm. And normally you would just be it feedback, be scribbles. Over the place. You yeah. wouldn't be able to tell what it is. You have to stop doing CPR, which is a bad thing. When absolutely. you're stopping, that person's not getting any blood perfusion. Right, absolutely. So, so this stuff, how, how many rigs are going to have this now? All of them. All they will all be available. Okay. Yeah, across the board. And, and so do you think it's going to save lives? It's going to make a difference? And the, the research study has shown that a threefold increase. Wow. I mean, that, that, to, to survivability. Okay. It's amazing. It's pretty good technology. And so all the, the paramedics, EMTs, all in the rigs have all been trained on how to use it. We are them. going through training with them right now. And, and what do you think, the like we were talking about this, the national implications will be? Do you think because it now has a report card, you guys will obviously be able to study this, mm -hmm. there'll be national studies done on CPR effectiveness? I mean, we've already seen so many changes in CPR just over the last couple of years. Hands-only CPR. I mean, right. We're realizing now that people were doing the respirations yeah. and not really doing the, the compressions right. Yeah. What are the changes do you think is going to happen to CPR because it, it, of this? It, it's, it's remarkable. It's, it's, it's hard to say what exactly is going to come in the future, but we can look back at the past and, and we, we tried to learn all these different drugs, um, you know, all these different sort of uh, medications that we used to treat it when it really was uh, so ironic that it was just Basics. high quality CPR right. and electricity that made all the difference in the world. Your heart's an electrical <laughs> pump, so the idea is do the mechanical portion of it, get it to definitive care, which is this, this you know, Absolutely. thing that's going to shock it back into rhythm yep. and then move on from there. So, mm -hmm. and, and of course, we should take this moment of, in time and encourage people, if they haven't already, please. Do. Learn CPR because before these guys, and they get you fast, yeah. before they get there, somebody needs to be doing this as well. Yeah, it's, shown, it's been shown well documented. The first responders on scene doing CPR increase patient survival. Fascinating Absolutely. stuff. Doc, thanks so much for coming in with us. Thank you for time. having us. All right. And uh, I believe we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back after this. Good job.